so welcome back it's tina in today's video i thought i would review a video that has just <laughs> review a video in today's video i thought i would review a product that has just recently come out earlier this month and it is the d claire's soft airy uv essence now if you have been following me even for a short while i'm sure you have heard me rave on about japanese sunscreens and how much i love them and the main reason why is because it it's not like a traditional Western sunscreen where it doesn't have the stickiness, the smell, the gross feeling of a sunscreen and all of that. So I have loved my Japanese sunscreens and I have stuck with them for a very long time now. In the past I had tried quite a lot of Korean sunscreens. Granted I haven't tried any quite recently. But Claire's came out with this new sunscreen which kind of promises everything that I would want in a sunscreen. So I was like yes please <laughs> so i'll tell you guys a little bit about declares and wish trend which is actually where declares is from i'm sure if you guys are familiar with the k beauty community you will have heard of wish trend so they are a korean based beauty website which first things first they ship pretty much to every country they ship internationally which is a big struggle i find with kind of all of us that are into the international beauty trend and they have selected brands that they sell on their site that they think are effective at a fairly affordable price. So the brands that they have on their site right now are Jungle Botanics, Skin and Lab, Cosrx, which I feel like everybody loves, Skin Miso, I'm from Chia Yuchiko or Chia Y Chico, I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names because I probably am. Mizon, Zyme again, and then they do have two of their own brands that they have developed called By Wish Trend and Claire's. And in all honesty, I wasn't very familiar with them. I have only recently started using their products since I have been back in Australia. I had heard of them, but I wasn't really like familiar with them or what they did. So they did reach out to me a couple of weeks ago and sent me a few of their products to try out, which I'm currently in the process of trying. They sent me the Mandelic Acid 5% Skin Prep Water by Wish Trend and then some other products from Claire's, the Supple Pre Preparation Unscented Tent the supple preparation unscented toner and the vitamin E freshly juiced mask which I am all in the process of trying out so I can give you guys a proper review and know that it really works but I feel like sunscreens you kind of either love it or hate it as soon as you start using it I feel like it's one of those products that you just know as soon as you start using it you're like okay this works or okay I hate it so the Claire's slogan is simple but enough which I think literally should be the way for everything um doesn't even make sense but you know what I mean they only use the minimum necessary ingredients to have a very effective product which I feel like is something we ultimately want in everything you don't actually want a product that has like 50 million ingredients that you have no idea what they are just for it to be effective if you can achieve that with less ingredients obviously that is kind of the dream so I think that's really cool that that's kind of what they strive for so moving on to the actual sunscreen what it says on the packaging is that it is a everyday sun protector soft weightless invisible daily sunscreen that guards against UVA UVB without leaving greasiness or white finish it is SPF 50 plus with PA plus 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 broad spectrum sunscreen water-based gel texture and it is vegan friendly so obviously the first thing that I look for and have talked about that I look for in a sunscreen is the way it feels on the packaging it does say water-based gel texture and that is exactly what it is it is very lightweight it is not sticky not greasy like your classic kind of everyday white sunscreen sunscreen that you would find in Australia and such. It is a slightly slightly heavier texture to the ones that I'm used to in Japan like the Biore Watery Essence or the Nivea sunscreen but in all honesty it is really working for me right now. I'm back in Australia. It is still winter. It is still cold and my skin is very very dry. So this essentially feels like a lightweight moisturizer which is great. Compared to my other Japanese ones they are definitely lightweight but they don't really leave any moisture to your skin which in summer I prefer but right now my skin is so dry I really do need as much moisture as I can get so this is working great for me at the moment it definitely doesn't leave any white cast I am wearing it today I mean I am wearing makeup but it definitely doesn't leave that kind of sunscreen mask all over your face which is awesome there is essentially no smell to it there might be like a little whiff of something that's probably like the uv protectant but it is only the tiniest bit when you're applying it once it's on you really can't smell it and honestly some people probably won't even be able to smell it like right now i can't smell it it's only when i'm like really applying it and getting in there that i can smell it but it is virtually nothing so you don't have to worry about that so it is also good for people with sensitive skin it doesn't have added scent or any of that so it's awesome honestly I love it. <laughs> I 
I really have been liking it. I've been using it for about a week and using it every day and it definitely doesn't feel greasy, which is my number one, but it does give a little bit of moisture, which I am loving at the moment. And then one of the greatest things about this product is that it is cruelty free and vegan friendly, which I feel like is something more people are trying to kind of be more conscious about. I'm trying to be more conscious about. It is hard being in the beauty community because there's so many brands, so many products that unfortunately some brands do to some animals and all of that and i think it's something that every brand should strive to reduce and get rid of so i think it's really great that claire's and wish trend have done that and still um are producing very effective products so in saying that wish trend actually has a really really cool promotion on from today the date that this video has been posted so wish trend is having a vegan friendly promotion from the 28th of september to the 11th of october where they're going to have up to 40 percent off of all vegan friendly products that they sell which i think is amazing and in all honesty i already have a cart to set up um <laughs> unfortunately right now it's still a couple days before the promotion starts but i've already put my items in a cart because i've been wanting to try the vitamin c serum for such a long time and <laughs> there's also some other products that i've been keeping my eye on so i've already set up my cart and kind of waiting for the promotion to start it is not all products obviously it is vegan friendly products and it's up to 40 percent off so it's not everything that is 40 percent off but if there are still items that you want to try out and want to get a little bit of a discount you can use the code affvegan05 have it on the screen i know it's like well, how do i spell that <laughs> affvegan05 and you can get five percent off of any purchase store wide so that includes vegan friendly products as well as non-vegan friendly products and it's on top of the 40 percent or up to 40 percent off that you might get on the vegan friendly products oh my god siren shut up which I think is super awesome. So I'm definitely waiting for that date to kick in so I can get that discount and you guys are more than welcome to use it. I will just mention that shipping may vary. There are some products where even if you buy one item, shipping is free internationally. The vitamin C drops that I plan to get, they have free shipping on. So I'm like, yep, perfect. And then I'm gonna add in a little this and that because of course, like you're not gonna purchase just just one item really <laughs> but they do have a shipping page where you can literally go on and select your country and see how long it takes how much it costs and all the rates and all of that on their site which i think is great and as you can see they ship to pretty much every country like there is a huge list of countries that they ship to so i think that is great and no this video is not sponsored even though we might seem so i just really like recently discovered them and i think it's awesome what they do and the products that they produce and i'm still like super keen to try a lot of their products so if you guys have heard of them before or are new to them even and think that it sounds like something you would like then go ahead i do have links for all the products that i mentioned as well as their general site below so you can go there from my description down below and all in all <laughs> This video was a review for this sunscreen and I absolutely loved it. I will continue to use it and it's definitely kind of the best Korean sunscreen that I've ever used. So awesome job declares but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video i feel like it has been a while since i've done anything k-beauty but if you do like k-beauty please give this video a thumbs up obviously i'm going to probably do generally more j-beauty stuff because that's what i live for but you know the whole asian beauty world and community is amazing and if you like it too then go ahead and subscribe because that's generally what i am going to post along with maybe other videos but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye